I read the runes. You lose. Blood will spill. Makers guide me. They come for the scroll. Time dwindles. Are you following me? Hey guys, welcome to a new guy video. Today I'll show you guys how to play Rise. Ability sequence on Rise, so you want to go with Q max followed by E for the damage and will clear, and then your W last for the CC. Your ultimate is a teleport, but it also passively increases your overload damage up to a 100% bonus, so make sure to put points into this whenever possible. Alright guys, so when you get into the laning phase as Rise, you can start with your W level 1 if you are playing against a melee matchup like we are doing right here, so we are laning against a Akali. So it's a single target ability that will slow for now, but if you have flocks on them, then it will root. So you can poke them early on by W and then put in an auto attack, you can also do it early on, but sometimes you won't really get the second auto attack off, but it doesn't matter too much. Main thing is that you can abuse them in the early stages and really try to poke them as much as possible. Otherwise, this is a very passive champion in the early stages, he has to scale. One of the strongest late game champions, so your goal is to come up and avoid dying in the laning phase, so you don't get um, too far behind, because otherwise then it will be really difficult to scale, especially when you play against assassins like an Akali. So now we have a flux, so what it does is that it deals some damage and then it will spread to nearby enemies. And if you W someone who has flux on them, then it will root. But your E is basically what you use to wave clear will, so you try to apply flux on as many minions as possible. And then you hit them with your Q, so it will also bounce and deal bonus damage. He has a Lee Sing coming in here, so we're just gonna go to the other side of the lane, so now I'm playing on towards the top side. Okay, there's a switch as well. So we use the escape combo right here, so as you can see, we rooted this guy with a 3 hit combo, so E, W, Q. That way he will stay rooted, and we will get the bonus movement speed from Face Rush. So that is what you want to use when you are trying to run away from ganks, it's really easy to execute as well, and they can't really do anything because they are rooted. Okay, that's pretty free right there, nice. Of course, Ryze is really good at setting up ganks as well, because um, he has a hard CC and Ramos also has something, so pretty free kill right there. When you want to push guys, make sure that your E hits as many minions as possible and then you proc it with a Q. Now, starting item can be a tier if you are confident in the laning phase. It gives you a weaker early game but it lets you scale up much faster. So if you're playing against a bad opponent or if they don't have a champion that can really do much to you in the laning phase, then you can start with tier. Otherwise you want to start with the drone string because it's much safer for you. Now mana is something that is really really important on Rice. one of the most important stats on this guy because uh, this damage also scales with mana, so his abilities uh, all have some kind of uh, scaling with mana, so the more you have the more damage you're going to deal. Of course you'll also be able to use your abilities uh, more frequently cause you have the mana to do so. Of course, the removal of Rod of Ages was definitely a nerf for Ryze, cause he cannot get that much mana anymore. But his passive will also convert some of his uh, AP into mana, so... Chemin is still playable, 
Just have to be a lot more careful now because you don't have the extra tankiness from the Rod of Ages, so you're a lot squishier. Alright, so we just have to try to poke the Q. Remember that your Q resets when now you use a basic ability, so really important that you use your uh, Q between your combos so you get maximum DPS out of it. That's something you always have to keep in mind on Rise, and if you watch any of my combos, then that is what I make sure to do. Also, when you poke your opponent, you don't have to directly aim at them, so if they are nearby minions, then you can E the minions, so they also get the fox, and then you can just Q the minions, so it will spread and work as poke, so that's the way you can win the landing phase. Anyways, we have our ultimate up right now. He did not respect my damage right there. So your ultimate allows you to teleport uh, allies, so that includes champions and minions as well. But more importantly is the passive, so it is going to increase your overload Q damage up to 100%. And that is basically what allows Ryze to be so strong late game, so always make sure that you put points into this ability when you can. See if we can get one plate here before we head to base, I'm just gonna wait and stay within range. Just a little bit more, nice. Alright, now we can go ahead and recall. We do have teleport, so we don't have to worry about the state of the lane right now. Normally this is not a champion, you will get a lot of kills on guys. It is a scaling champ, so you just look to play it out past them in the early stages. Wait for your core items. And go ahead and teleport here. So your wave clear, it is really really easy to wave clear with rise. So right now, we're dealing a decent amount of damage. But as we get more points into our abilities, then we can just straight up one shot the wave with an EQ combo. So that is the point when you will have really good wave clear. So basically, when you have max rank in your Q. So what I did right here, I shot the wave, and then that basically means that we have Prius, so we can do the Drake right here. That should be pretty free, watch out for Lee Sen. Do the Drake, okay nice, he got the smite. Can he get him? I think he should be able to, right? Oh, he doesn't have enough damage, I had to flash here. Yeah, I'm dead as well. Okay, so it's fine that my lane opponent got the kills. That's great because we can easily keep a uh, even in the middle lane until we outscale. This move would have been really bad if we lost the Drake, but uh, Ramos also got the smite off, so it's actually pretty worth it for us right now, even though they got the shutdown. As so I can easily deal with Akali. Just have to focus on shoving the wave as fast as we can, and then we try to look for roams because we can use our ultimate to teleport. So. I either use it to escape with, if I get ganked, or you can use it to teleport bot lane. Just when you teleport, make sure that you uh, use it to flank. You don't want to teleport on top of people because then they can just run away, so... Use it to cut off the escape path, basically. Just have to push this wave here, because otherwise can kill some of the minions and try to set up a freeze. So now we're gonna show that entire wave into a tower and then we can look for room guys. We can also look to clear out the vision here, so pop the plant, so that's a ward right there. I'm gonna look for a teleport bot lane. Teleport behind us, you see, even if she's going to flash like she did right now, then she is dead. That is exactly why you want to use your teleport to cut off the escape path.
Okay, good thing my team is moving in time, so... We'll probably look for a kill right here. Go on Lee Sin. As Akali has a W, so she is hard to target. Lee Sin is pretty free, so... If any of us hit a hard CC, then we can just chain CC them and then they will be dead. I'm gonna E the entire anyway right here and then I can Q it. So the flux is going to spread. That way we can wake clear really easily. Now we have max points into a Q as well, so wake clear even better right now. And it is only going to get better as we get more points into ultimate. So of course guys, the mythic item, you only have two options pretty much, so... And that is because you want mana. Everfrost is not very useful right now, a pretty weak item, so avoid buying that. You want to go for loot and Seiko into squishy teams and the lion Riz into tank comps. You see the way clear? That is how easy it is when you have enough points and... Items. Now Luton Seiko also gives you some bonus movement speed so it's very good on Rise because it allows you to kite people and make sure that the opponents stay within range basically. Yeah, okay, I thought we were going to give that to Ramos, so it's fine though. Aurelia is showing in that one. Try to poke with that EQ right there, remember that your Q deals more damage to targets that are hit by your E, so... Really important to know when you try to trade, cause if you do it without your E then it will barely deal any damage. Hey! Okay. 3-man mid, that is why I don't really walk up too far when we see people missing on the map. Especially... When they have a Twitch who is known to do these uh, cheese ganks in the early stages, I'm gonna go for Twitch here. Yeah, I missed that one. We can go. High face rush, I'm gonna chase him all the way here. One Q. Nice. Pretty free, and they got Ash as well because Twitch drum, so Ash was free to dive, so well played by my team. We can ult bot to help them. Gonna ult right here, Ramus combo. Oh, he's not gonna make it rip. Into the brush here. Okay, she flashed, so it's alright. Questionable teleport by a Wukong. Is it just a push top lane right now? Because we are. Our entire team is bot, and two of the enemy team members had to recall, so there's no point in him teleporting. He's just a push top side. Go for this. Okay, and I'll flash down. We want to play for the objectives, we also want to play for the scaling on Rice. We're gonna take everything we can, so that also includes jungle camps. We're gonna take the Crux here. So we can hit that level 11 power spike faster, so it's going to empower our overload damage. So we have even more burst when we fight people, but also for the wave clan in general. So you never want to get this Argenges item first guys, uh, that is pretty troll. Really avoid doing that, cause it doesn't really give you anything at all, it needs to stack first and it's also a nerfed version of the old Argenges cause uh, you don't have a shield anymore. You also lost some valuable stats from it, so do not buy this as your first item, you just get the tier and then you sit on that. And then you get the uh, mythic item first, and then you can upgrade it afterwards. Okay, another runaway combo here. I had to flash because I caught the ulted. But as you can see, Rice is pretty uh, good at disengaging, disengaging against people. Uh, as long as they are on mobile, you just E, W, Q, and that gives you a lot of bonus movement speed that you can use to run away with. That's also the combo you want to use when, for example, your ally jungle and Ramos comes to gang you, then you want to make sure that they're rooted, so you don't really care about the burst damage, but you want the uh, utility instead. If you want the burst damage, guys, then you want to make sure that it is your Q 
the procs your E and not your W because your W will consume the E. Nice, they do not have flash, so Twitch went down. That's fine, I'm gonna pop this plant right here for some vision. So, somebody's coming to gank them bot, then they will know right now. And I can just keep pushing mid. Just need to watch out because um, Lee Sin is missing. Now we are level 11 guys, so whole load damage gives you more damage. I'm just gonna hold out here. I didn't want to take any chances because I don't know what Lee Sin has up. He could ward kick me, so... Really don't want to risk dying here. Yeah, that is some insane chain CC. If any of us hit one hard CC, then we're just gonna full up with everybody, so... They are 100% dead. I think uh, Jin should take this one. It looks like Ramus is taking it. Aurelia's, Aurelia's also doing really good top lane. But yeah, this is a Diamond Needle game, so it is very snowball this season. If one team gets the lead, then it pretty much just... Uh, snowballs out of control onto one side FFs. But that's pretty much how this season is in general, because there is so much uh, damage right now. Just have to keep pushing here. We want, really want to take down this tower here, because if we do that, then we are free to go to the side lane, where we can get a lot of farm for ourselves. We don't have to share it with anyone. I think we just uh, super farm until we get the core item. So of course, Archangels upgraded to Seraph's Embrace, Luden Seiko and Boots. Even though it's a late game champion, if you have these three items, then you're really strong. Uh, so you can also team fight if you want to. Just have to wait here. We don't see Twitch. I'm trying to bait him right now because I think Twitch will come to gank me. He's 100% here somewhere, so that's why I'm walking up slowly like this. We can't really make it too obvious though, but I think Jin kind of ruined it. Oh, there he is. So he was mid definitely. So if you're playing against a Twitch and he is missing from the map, then that's a very high chance that he's trying to gank you mid. The flash down Lee Sin. Akali also got out, unfortunately. Oh, he did die. Nice. I think Morgana ignited her or something. I don't know. Or maybe the uh, Raptors killed her. <laughs> we can just siege with that team right here. We are really strong right now, so we can just keep pushing. I'm gonna cancel his recall. Get this tower here. Alright. Okay, that's a very uh, interesting engage from Aurelia. <laughs> we can go top and take out this wave here. If the jungle camps are up, then you also want to look to deny them the camps. The wolf camps uh, might have been up right here, but uh, it's very risky to always stand like that when you don't have vision of all the enemy team. I'm gonna go ahead and recall, get the uh, Archangel staff. And then I can start moving towards the dragon. Of course, always play for the objectives, even when you play scaling champion. So next item will be the uh, cosmic drive. The reason we want that is because it gives so much CDI. It has 30 ability haste. And CDI is a really, really good stat on Ryze. So very good item to buy. I think she's just gonna order him to death, right? Yeah, looks like it. We can all then. We cut off. Okay, she should be dead. Nice. So you can go to Silenus Rise, or you can see a fight. Really depends uh, how the game is looking. If you're really strong and can one versus one anyone, then you can go to Silent. Oh yeah, if you think your team will get caught, then you can also group with them. So you avoid them running it down. I'm gonna apply the flux to Wukong right there and then Q them, so because he tried to body block Jin. I made sure to walk in right there and get the kill. 
He's stealing zero damage right now. <laughs> we are too far ahead. So this should pretty much be GG's. I don't think they can do anything this game here. Just go ahead and take the inhibitor as well. So you don't want to take the inhibitor early on, but 20 minutes is fine. Oh, I messed that up. But yeah, ca cannot really flash on her when she has a W up because Rice's damage is targeted. Only his Q is a uh, kill shot, otherwise his damage is targeted. So if you cannot do that, then you can't really damage the opponent. Alright, got the inhib. Now we want to go to the sidelines right there. And take whatever step. Oh, they did FF. So that was the rice guide, guys. So I hope this was helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video.